Welcome back all you crappies. So today we're doing how to live minnow fish for crappie. That was terrible. How to fish with live minnows for crappie. I got two different setups here. Got your basic uh, slip bobber setup with a, uh, it's just a split shot and then it's a number four, number four hook. And then I'm gonna do just a plain old jig. This is a 30 second ounce jig. Um, and we're just gonna hook up minnows. I'm, I'm over brush piles right now. And I got these, these tasty guys. Crappie love those things. So let's get to it. It's September, crappie are transitioning from that, um, those mid, mid lake depths in the summer to those deeper winter, uh, wintering holes. Like uh, on this lake specifically, midsummer, crappie are in about 15 feet. Um, now they're starting to move out into that 20, 25 feet on this lake. So we're set up on a brush pile that's in 18 feet of, that's in 18 feet of water. And uh, we're gonna drop these minnows down and see if we can catch some big old slabs. All right, let's grab one of these. Let's grab one of these minnows here. And so there's a few different ways you can hook them through, hook a minnow on these things. One way, especially if I'm fishing a slip bobber, any type of bobber setup where it's just gonna be in a fixed position. And I know this from, from ice fishing uh, when we have tip ups. If you hook them upside down, just behind, just behind the butt there, what's, what they're gonna try to do is always try to stay upright. So they're constantly gonna be struggling to stay upright. That's gonna make them uh, wiggle around the most. Um, otherwise, a lot of guys hook them right through the top of the back, right here, or some guys hook them through the mouth, just through the lips. But for right now, because I'm fixing, this is going to be on my slip bobber, I'm going to hook it upside down. I'm going to hook it right there. Now it's going to sit in the water like this, and it's constantly going to want to turn up, turn like that. It's going to make it... Uh, Nice and juicy for those crappie that are down there. So I'm gonna throw this out. I already got it set for about 13, I think this is gonna be about 13 feet deep. This is gonna be uh, for those crappie that are kind of suspended off those brush piles that are sitting down there. Now this other setup I have, just the basic jig here. This one, I'm actually gonna hook the minnow through the back because I'm going to actually be moving this one. Oh, I got a fish on. I got a fish on. Feels decent, because he is decent. Hold on, I got a hook in my mouth. There we go. Didn't you have time to explain the other hook, hook setup? Nice little eight inch fish. I'm gonna throw him back. We're looking for those big, his big brother. All right, so this hook setup I got going on here. Hold on, hold on a second. All right, so this hook setup I got going on here, and I'm actually gonna use a dead minnow, because I, I don't need a live one if I'm gonna be jigging it up and down. I'm gonna hook it right through the top of the, the back, right behind that dorsal fin. Just like that, okay? Some people hook it in the, in the lips, and I, I prefer if you're, if you're gonna be hooking it on the top, up and down like this, to be actually be jigging. So that's why I'm hooking it on my jigging rod, my slip bobber rod, I'm going to hook the minnow upside down to have make sure it it always wants to go right side up. Okay, so I'm going to drop my slip bobber down there. Oh. Wind's blowing me, blowing me all over the place today. And then I'm going to drop my jig rod down. Let's just try jigging with this one for a second here. And I'm just gonna drop it. Well, I should use what I've been teaching you guys here. I'm gonna measure the length of my rod. This is a seven foot, I believe. Yeah, it's a seven foot rod. So that's seven feet right there and I got about a foot and a half extra, that's eight feet. So I'm gonna pull out, I'm gonna pull out three, three more feet and yeah, another foot. Four feet, so that's gonna be about 12 feet right there. I'm just 
jigging it up and down. I'm going to go a little lower. I'm going to pull out another foot. It's going to put me at 13. Looks like they're, that nah, might be the top end of their range, that 13 feet. Oh, there he is. Yep, that extra foot made the difference. Oh, that's a nice guy too. Oh, yes. That's a beautiful fish right there. These beautiful fall crappie. They're beefing up for the winter. There we go. What is that? Let's see what that is. It's a 12 inch crappie right there. That's what we came here for. These nice 12 inch fish. There's 12, 13, 14 inch crappie in here. Those are these bigger ones. I haven't seen a bigger crappie come out of this lake. So these are the ones we came for. These nice, beautiful 12 inch black crappie. Boom. Let's get this uh, jig rod down here. Hook that crop through that minnow right at the top of that back on that dorsal fin. Using dead minnows for my jig pole because I don't need the live ones. I only need the live ones for the slip bobber. All right, let's get this slip bobber down here too. Oh, I got a fish on this one though. There we go. About time. I was getting a little concerned there. Wasn't getting any crappie bites. Little guy though. Oh. No. Get out of the boat. I don't want you. You can get out of the boat. Oh, there he is. Well, that's not what we want. It's another eight inch fish. Ouch. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, just another, another eight inch fish. Not the crappie we want. Well, oh, he spit up my minnow too. I was uh, just in the slip bobber and got this guy. So now I need a minnow for both of them. My goodness. They are just devouring these minnows and I can't seem to, uh, to feel the bite. So one thing about these crappie, they're notorious for that negative bite where they actually come up, they'll hit the, they'll bite the bait and then they'll keep rising in the water column. And normally you can watch your line, but it's, it's about 10 to 15 mile an hour wind today. So that's not working out too well for me. There we go. There's a, uh, it's an okay fish. Uh, not big. Nope. Still, still in search for that nice big one. Got one in the live well. Still in search for those 12, 13 inch fish. There he is. Oh, he inhaled that one. Absolutely inhaled it. Hopefully I don't need pliers here. Yeah, I do need pliers. I started hooking them through the, through the lips on the minnow, and that's two in a row now. Just dropped the line in, two in a row. They're eight inch fish, they're not very big, but I'm thinking that might be the secret. I know I said, I'm thinking that might be the secret. I know I said uh, this is gonna be a how-to video, but I kind of just list things off that I've seen and I've done in the past, and then I kind of tweak them as the day goes on. So right now, that's two for two. Haven't had a miss hooking it, hooking it through the lips right there, underneath the lips, out through the top. I'm losing my minnow every time, which, you know what, that kind of happens, but 
I'll take a hookup ratio, 100% uh, hookup ratio for losing a minnow. I'm letting it sink, probably about 10, 12 feet, and I'm just slowly dragging it back, and I'm just feeling weight. Like that. Three for three. Okay. Now we got something going for us right here. They're not very big, but they're working. Letting that thing drop down and drag it right across the top of these brush piles. I'm just, I'm feeling tension, that's all. They're not actually hitting it, I'm just feeling tension. Oh, there he is. There we go. Oh, all right, that's a decent sized fish. There we go. That's gonna end it for me today. Crappie, minnows, slip bobber, and jigs. Fall crappie, can't beat it. Appreciate you watching. If you like these videos, be sure to smash that like button. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, you see my face holding the crappie at the end of the video, you can click on that. And below the video, there's a subscribe button. I'll see you next time.